it will certainly be a difficult process going forward because indeed there's a lot of uh, different opinions across the spectrum and also uh, different characters. Um, it's good to know that our parliament is very fragmented indeed. So we will have 17 parties in parliament, say one for each million of people. Uh, still, uh, the Freedom Party has won a clear victory of about one quarter uh, of the votes. So um, it's really up to Geert Wilders to take the first step and to seek for coalition party, parties. And we already know that to get a majority in Parliament, he will need at least two other parties to join him. And then if he wants a majority in Senate, even more. Sylvia uh, here joining the conversation. I would like to understand what this result means for fiscal policy, both in the Netherlands, but then, of course, for the EU, because we're still waiting for some sort of agreement when it comes to fiscal rule reform. What do you think a potential government in the Netherlands is going to do when it comes to that? Yeah, so um, on fiscal policy, the Freedom Party has, um, has a clear a populist economic policy idea. So a lot of wishes for more public spending, for instance, pensions, uh, higher minimum wages, uh, and, and lots of other things, but much less clear ideas on how to uh, pay for it. Uh, certainly one wish of Geert Wilders is to pay less to Europe. Uh, of course, it remains to be seen how much um, uh, room for maneuver he will have. And then I think um, uh, it's also good to note that if he forms a coalition over the right side of the political spectrum, which I think will be explored first as a possibility. Um, other parties in that side are quite keen on keeping government finances under control. So then more spending on one part would also be, will have to be matched by uh, structurally less spending on other sides to be decided very unclear at this moment. I know um, it's very, sorry. Yeah. I know it's Go very on. unclear at this stage, given the uh, uh, uncertainty regarding how, what sort of coalition we will get. But given that we might see some further confrontation between the Netherlands and the EU on all sorts of topics, not just on fiscal policy, how do you think the markets are going to react to this outcome from the Netherlands? Well, I think we will certainly see a very different tone under a possible prime minister, uh, Geert Wilders, towards Europe um, and also different stances. Um, I, I, I would expect markets to understand also the political landscape in the Netherlands, which means coalition forming and compromises on all sides. So ha, that will certainly have an effect. And, and, and in fact, uh, Geert Wilders has been able to win these elections, I think, also because of his more moderate tone in the recent weeks, which has uh, drawn more voters than uh, was previously uh, expected.